Tomorrow, during a ceremony on Capitol Hill, Grand Forks Police Department officer Cody Holty will be honored for his sacrifice in the line of duty. The 29-year-old was killed while serving an eviction notice last year. Our D.C. Bureau reporter Kristen Casper brings us more from National Police Week. Friends and family of the fallen descending on Washington this weekend, and in that sea of blue cresting over the Capitol, members of the Grand Forks Police Department and Officer Cody Holty's family. We have a contingent uh, not only of police officers, there are some uh, Grand Forks Sheriff's officers, PSAP, and family members that are here for support. The 29-year-old officer was killed by gunfire last year, assisting sheriff deputies serving an eviction notice. He's remembered for his sense of humor and, according to Lieutenant Jeremy Moe, his unwavering sense of dedication to the community. We come from a, a community that most people know somebody in our law enforcement community. It's that uh, type of small town. Um, North Dakota. Officer Holty is one of 22,000 fallen officers memorialized in stone here at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. Typically, he would have been recognized during a series of annual events in May, but because of the pandemic, organizers had to postpone the traditional ceremonies, a candlelight vigil, wreath laying, and naming ceremony. Patrick Yose with the Fraternal Order of Police says it's all a critical part of the healing process for those with loved ones lost. The grief uh, that they carry is so, is so strong and it's not something they can do alone. Holty is just the second officer in Grand Forks Police Department history to be lost in the line of duty. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kristen Casper. And the annual National Peace Officers Memorial Service will be held tomorrow afternoon on the National Mall. Two playoff-bound teams battle it out tonight in Thompson. It's Friday Night Football. We'll be there live next.